Now after brief discussions of these modules, because we will be interacting and we will be using these modules to perform these all tasks like uh, uh, the exploitations and sniffing and fuzzing. So all of these will be done with the, with the help of these modules. So this was important to show you all these modules. And you can further, I mean, if you want to explore it further, for example, you want to see what is there in this exploits. So you can go to this folder like CD and exploits enter and then run the command ls list this and now you can see these these are different exploits which are available in this metasploit but now we will be exploring it further and uh, just to show you just to demonstrate to you that how you can use this metasploit i'm going to give you uh, i'm going to show you a simple example and for that i'm just going to minimize it let's see and I'm going to open the window where we already have this uh, Metasploit framework running. So you can see in this terminal, we have this Metasploit. And now to show you the use of Metasploit, I have already this uh, weak machine or the vulnerable machine that is Metasploitable 2. So Metasploitable 2, as we have already mentioned, that has many weaknesses there. And for learning purpose, in our virtual environment, we are using this Metasploitable 2. And now, uh, this metasploitable machine already has many weaknesses and we will try to exploit some of the weakness using metasploit framework which we have here right so maybe to give you a better view i can shift to full screen you can see here and now we have this metasploit framework and in the second one we have this metasploitable too and it and by default password, username and password for this machine is msfadmin, msfadmin, and password is also same, msfadmin. Okay, and first of all, we need the IP address of this Metasploitable 2. So let's see, and we can find out the IP address of our, uh, of the computers on our network using maybe Nmap, for instance, or maybe we can use, sorry, ARP, ARP scan. So with this, we will have the information about the, about the target machine. But let's say we are going to find the IP address directly here. And then let's see here, uh, we have the IP address and now this is 192.168.66.133. And with this IP address, let's go to Metasploit. And now you can see we are in the Metasploit uh, mode. So you can see here, and even from this prompt, we can use a command that is nmap. So we have discussed this nmap uh, in some of our video. So with the help of nmap, we will try to find out the ports and services running on our target machine. So in our case, this Metasploitable 2 is actually the target machine, is the victim's machine. So I'm running this nmap. And uh, I want to see the services and their versions number, so minus sv with the minus sv option and then i'm giving the ip address of the machine that is 192.168.66.133 so that's the ip address of my target and that is metasploitable 2 virtual machine and now it has started scanning our target machine and uh, I'll put the link to download and install this Metasploit Level 2 machine in the description section. So that will be very much helpful in learning. So now we have the result. And as a result of this, if I just uh, maximize it maybe for, for better results, I'm just here. Okay, so now you can see here, we have found that there are certain ports, port number 21, port number 22. So these ports, are open and these are the services running there and these are the version number let's say now we we know that this is the port port number 21 and this is running ftp service and this is the version number of that service or of, of that ftp and if this is a weakness or if this is this version of ftp is weak or this is, this is supposed to be vulnerable then we should have or we might have a uh, a tool or we, we might have an exploit in Metasploit framework which we can use and we can exploit this vulnerability and basically this is very well known vulnerability so I'm going to use this one very first one to demonstrate how we can use a Metasploit framework to exploit this vulnerability so I'm repeating again 
so with this end map i have scanned my target so that target is this meta exploit machine meta exploitable 2 machine and on this meta exploitable 2 machine there are different services running and i use end map to find out those services their ports and whether they are open or closed but here it says that FTP service is running on port number 21 and the version number of FTP is this one and this version of FTP is was actually insecure this provided uh, backdoor so we want to exploit this uh, service which is running on meta exploitable which is actually uh, which was proved to be vulnerable so now we want to use this one and now to use it i'm going to copy simply this one copy it and now in my meta exploit framework i want to find out if there is some module with this name if there is some exploit or payload or something with this name so i'm going to use a command that is search and in search i'm going to paste that service that is ftp and now it will search for me all the modules having these this string in it so with this i press enter and you can see it has given me the result quickly and it's in this result you can see it says that uh, it says that these are matching modules and module is exploit module here this exploit module and this was disclosure date that is 3-7-2011 and rank is excellent and this is the description for that and check that, that way we can also check whether this is um, I mean exploitable or not at the moment the important thing is that that yes we have a module and that module is exploit in that module we have this this uh, this service there and we can use this exploit against the target machine which is our meta exploitable tool okay so now we found that this is the module which we have and now we can use this module right so we found the exploit modules which we can use against our target machine that is meta exploitable uh, tool and now to use it we are going to find out further information about that uh, we can simply write a command that is use and after use we can actually or we can also find out information about this this module as well for that what we can do we can simply copy this copy and then we can say info and then we can paste this uh, more uh, i mean this exploit here so this will give us further information about this so just info command you can see this is where from where this starts so you can see from info and the mod uh, the exploit which we found and now it is giving a further information the name of this that is backdoor command execution this is the module and then this is the platform and license and then it can also give you further information that what we need to configure for example so what i mean to use this module what we need to configure so we'll be configuring this but you can have this further information and especially in the description section this says that this module exploits a malicious backdoor that was added to vsftpd download archive and this backdoor was uh, introduced into the vsftp uh, archive between june this and this you can you can see further details about it it means this ftp version which is available on this meta meta exploitable 2 machine that is vulnerable and all the history you can see here in this one here in this description section so this is how we can find the information about some specific module there now if you want to use it against our target machine for that we have a command that is use and after that we have to give the name of this module so this was the module we can give the name of that module or we can also use simply the rank so here we have this is the uh, number zero rank but in some of the cases we may find multiple modules 
So in that case, we will have number zero, number one, number two, number three. So one of the ways to use these exploits is to copy and paste the complete name there, or you can simply use this index number. So I'm not going to copy and paste this whole things up to this. Maybe I am going to copy it. So copy this, I already have a copy. So here, use, and then I'm going to paste it. And actually I missed E here. I don't want to make this mistake. So this was exploit. I missed E during copy and paste. So I'm going to use this exploit, press enter. And now you can see here, it's, it's the, the mode has been changed here. Now we are in this mode. We are in this exploit mode right and now we have to configure this meta sorry this module so that it can uh, be launched again the target machine and what we need to configure here so to see this we have to use a command that is options or show options maybe show options and then press enter so it says that to use this module so module options uh, we need to configure our hosts so that is actually remote host. In our case, this remote host is basically the metasploitable to machine. And then we also need our port, the remote port number. So this is the description further here. So now we are going to use it, or we are going to set these variables. So for this set variable, we have a command that is set, and then we have our hosts, and then we give the IP address of target machine, that is 192.168.66. 133. So this is the IP address of Metasploitable 2. And we press enter. So now you can see our host has been uh, set. And now with exploit, we also have to set the payload. But here somewhere there was message that by default, they have actually, uh, they have started using this one. But now I want to explicitly, explicitly show you that how we set the payload. So for that, we we'll see that what payloads are available which we can use with this exploit so for that we have a command that is show show sorry show payloads and here it says that with this exploit we have only one module which is this so now i'm also going to set this uh, payload with this exploit so for this the command is set and then i'm going to copy this payload so remember the satellite example, which uh, I showed you to learn the difference between exploit and payload, right? So this payload is, has been set with this command. And once we have this, then we just have to run a last command that is, that is to exploit it. Now everything is ready. We have selected exploit. We have selected a payload. We have set the our host are the remote host we also have set the payload now we are ready to launch the exploit and for that we have a command that is exploit so we can write here exploit and it will start um, attacking the target machine and we also have another command that is simply run right so we are going to say run and press enter and now you can see this uh, has started and it says this backdoor service has been spawned handling and then found shell they have found a shell and says command shell session one open from this computer so which is actually our Kali machine Kali Linux machine is 1 138 and this is the target machine which is meta exploitable too maybe I can show you this uh, the IP address so, I config you can see this the this is the IP address of my Kali Linux machine right and yeah so from Kali Linux machine to metasploitable 2 machine uh, command shell session has been opened and now if you want to verify it so now we are there we are here we are in metasploitable 2 with the help of metasploit framework and so this shell is there and now to confirm it Maybe we can first we can see the IP address in this shell. So I have config and you can see the IP address which is shown in this shell is the IP address of Metasploitable 2. Right. So now actually with this module, with this exploit, we have the shell from Metasploitable 2. 
we have got the axis we have got the back door there and then one more command maybe who am i who am i you can see we are the root user there maybe we can also see the files there so ls you can see we have these files okay so now with this or with this we are basically in the meta exploitable 2 machine and so i just showed you a brief uh, a very simple example that if there are some vulnerabilities in some target machine we will have certain modules in meta exploit and by using those modules in meta exploit we can actually uh, exploit the vulnerabilities of the target system we'll be exploring this meta exploit an amazing tool further in some future videos um, but for today i think this is um, that's it and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video